guys. Now I'm gonna be filming the actual like rest of my makeup. We're just gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. So yeah, we're just gonna do the eyebrows now. We're gonna be taking the number 12 Anastasia brow brush. And I'm gonna be taking, you guys know, the Anastasia dipper pomade and soft brown. So yeah, we're just gonna be taking this. So just brush them through so that the hairs are nice and down. Now we're just gonna be setting them with the Maybelline Brow Drop of Sculpting Brow Mascara. And so this one, you guys know what it is. Now to prime the eyes, we're gonna be taking the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector, this little guy, and we're gonna be wiping off the baking. I'm gonna be taking that with the Naked 3 or one of the Urban Decay brushes from their palettes. These are awesome for this type of thing. Putting this right under the eyebrow to sculpt it and to cover up the hairs. I didn't have time to pluck. Blending it with the fluffy side of the brush and we can move right on to eyeshadow. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of this broken powder just to set it, even though it's gonna turn a little darker, that's okay. So we're gonna be taking Too Faced Bond Bars palette and we're just gonna be taking a fluffy brush, e.l.f. one. So we're taking this palette because it has really, really pretty, pretty colors. I might wanna use that one today. I love pink, as you can tell. But yeah, so we're gonna be taking Almond Truffle and Mocha, maybe these two, just a medium kind of pinkish brown colors. I think just mainly this one. Just put that directly in your crease. I think we're just gonna jump right into the glitter. But now we're just gonna be taking a flat brush and we're just gonna be wetting it as usual. Thumbs up this video if you guys want me just to like create a playlist for you guys so it goes back to back. But yeah, we're just gonna be taking these two. I'm just gonna be wetting it so I get a lot of more pigment from the color even though it's already pigmented. So we're just gonna be taking palette again and we're just gonna be taking these two. I'm probably just gonna use this one first. This is totally Fetch from Mean Girls and Cotton Candy. Oh, that's so cute. So this one versus now. This kind of reminds me of my pink tone look video but I've been dying to use this color. I wish I had this palette earlier. This brush dried really fast, so we're just gonna wet it again. And ooh, it looks cool. We're from the 80s, guys. But now I'm just gonna be taking cotton candy, this and that, just any colors that'll go good with the paint. Just mainly cotton candy. Hopefully you guys saw that. Middle and just maybe all over because it's a really pretty color. Okay, now we're just gonna be taking this to bring more light into it. This is like a silver shade. Now we're just gonna be taking this pointed brush and we're gonna be taking this color and this color or like any of these. This is called Bordox Malted and Dark Truffle. I think I'm just gonna be taking this first because this is more of the color that matches the pink going on, but we're just gonna be defining it. Take this color and just buff it, I mean same brush and just buff it in. Now take that brush you used for the lead shade and we're just gonna be using cotton candy again and just... We're just gonna be taking mocha first on my ring finger and we're just gonna be putting it here for a very subtle highlight. 
this is my expertise. Let me know if you guys want an eyeliner video, but we're gonna be taking the L'Oreal telescopic one and I'm gonna be putting a thin line. Let's cross our fingers, let's pray. I'm just gonna be taking this cheap one dollar one and we're just gonna be putting a baby wing. I don't know if the lashes are fully dry yet, but make sure you always close your glue thing because it will dry up and that will be the worst day of your life. And if they're just brand new, make sure you bend them like this because you'll get them round. Like if it's straight, it's so hard to put on. This one is actually called an eyeliner brush, or pointed detail brush. Oh, and look down, by the way, with these lashes to make sure everything's in place. I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Eye Studio uh, Gel Liner in Black is Black, this one. I'm sure you guys seen it a lot from me, but we're just gonna be dipping it in. Wow, it's almost out. And we're just gonna be opening up our eyes and be looking down, and we're just gonna be getting the, the waterline. But I'm gonna be taking the palette again and we're gonna be taking that pointed brush and we're gonna be using the same color we use for our crease. We're just gonna be taking this one and this one maybe and just mostly anything. I just think this one though. And that just makes you have more dimension to your eye. Make sure it doesn't look like you got punched though. Now we're just gonna be doing the lower lashes. Don't go on the actual lashes, make sure they're blended up. Now, the trick to get really long lashes is to just go up the root and pull down. Take your blending brush that you use under your eye and just use to blend your mascara mistakes. Now we're just gonna be doing this part with my Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. And we're just gonna be, of course, taking this to contour. This is fawn. I really have to find out what the shade is because I never know what it is. But this grayish, bronzy shade will make, it's more gray, it looks a little more natural. So I focus it really in this part to sculpt my face, you know, and then this to bronze and to make my forehead look slimmer. But yeah, so we're just gonna be taking, this is my like first contour brush. Now on to my favorite, highlighting. We're gonna be taking the Carly Bible palette because it has all these highlight shades in here. I might go for this one now because I'm darker. We're gonna be taking this, these two, just like this and putting it on the tops of our cheekbones. This is a great highlighter. You can like, seriously, you can compare this to like, like high-end stuff, like it's amazing. Okay, maybe I think I'm just gonna be using this one as like a glow for this part. So we're gonna be taking something to match my shirt, this color, but go very light with it because it's very, very pigmented. This is my TJ Maxx one. I mentioned this in my Christmas haul. And we're gonna be taking that. And we're just gonna put it right in between the, the highlight and the bronze. And we're just gonna be pressing it. I actually like this way better because you can't put too much blush on. Now for the lips. And we're gonna be taking my favorite lip combination. I'm gonna be taking this, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo SML CO3. But first, we're gonna be taking this one. We're gonna be just applying it. So 
So I just put my lips around the napkin to tone down the color. Now I'm just be taking this, the soft matte lip cream. I'm just gonna make it more peachy with the baby lips, the orange one. But yeah, so I'm just gonna make this more matte. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so today's gonna be a collab video with my two friends. This is Kim. Hi. Please go subscribe. I'm gonna link all of her stuff down below. And this is Ashley. Hey guys. <laughs> 